all right welcome to my channel welcome back i'm intuitive empress thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today this is a general message for all signs so take what resonates and leave the rest in other words while you're feasting on this meal on today don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke on the bones okay i've just been turned around on here it is going to be a general love message okay so we want to bring out another deck all right thank you so much for your love and support i appreciate every subscriber happy new year happy new year happy new year here's to a wonderful prosperous healing 2024 okay um anything that you need regarding me is in the description so please check that out your free natal chart the link in the description and also my etsy shop and my shopify link will be in the description okay i've been working on some great things for you and you're going to see it we have the herbal bath bag back you guys so shopify allows me to have it on their platform so you can get it through there all right we also have the healing crystal jars we have jewelry items handmade i've been a busy 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 woman okay <laughs> so check that out all right and let's get to the holy spirit heavenly angels of the most battle by the power love messages we have for the intuitive community. Oh, we have so much that's coming out. This is just one shuffle. All right. So we have a Sagittarius here coming out. Um, this is a mixture of two decks, a tarot deck, a uh, um, tarot deck, and also a zodiac sign deck. So I will be calling out the signs. All right, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. We have new beginnings with a Sagittarius, or you could be the Sagittarius going through a new beginning. Hmm. Wow. So, this is a new beginning after going through some things in love, having the last straw, breakups. Um, but you were resilient, okay? And you were perseverant. So, there is a Two of Cups coming in, a romantic union, possibly a Virgo. All right, or you could be a Virgo, take it as it resonates. Eat the meat and don't choke on the bones, okay? So we have the Two of Cups. Yes, 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 yes. Coming in. Yes, yes. I'm happy about that. Okay, because as y'all know, the readings were not all that great um, before. But this is the new beginning, new year, new beginning. It could even be an Aries, okay? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. That's why those natal charts are important to know your placements. So your sun sign might not come up, but your moon, rising, or Venus. Right now with just the sun sign, because I do have a deck with all of the signs, but to put it in combination with this was just too much. So check your natal chart. We have the Ace of Swords, some clarity, some truth, new vision is coming all right to you we have the queen of cups okay so you could be the queen of cups full of love intuitive thoughtful compassionate your intuition is on fleek okay um after coming out of what you went through okay if you are a male this is a feminine energy coming into you we have the two of wands here Okay, someone was in a place of indecision, and actually, I was told to flip it over. Someone had careful planning, made the decisions that they needed to make, all right? We do have the Eight of Wands. We have fast communication coming in about a change. You could be traveling, okay? Traveling for business, traveling for pleasure. Um, traveling in the spiritual realm, okay? Because, wow, yeah, see, there you go. Listening to the Holy Spirit because someone is a high priestess so you could be in the queen of cups energy and also in the high priestess energy again we have that intuition revealing secret secrets are being revealed to you from the most high in the spiritual realm so you have to trust yourself in your inner guidance all right we have the will of fortune right here we have karma all right coming in to you good karma everybody screams karma 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 
but there was good karma there was bad karma there was a new cycle but for those that had done, done you wrong and tried to take away your possibility they're going through the bad karma right now they're going through the storm or they're going to begin to go through it it's a turning point it is a time for you to walk in your destiny um here anything else for this spirit anything else anything else before we move on mm. yeah and somebody betrayed you in the last season they thought you were going to be defeated they felt like it was going to be a painful end for you. They had the third party energies with the Three of Cups. They were celebrating over your demise, all right? But you experienced that emotional growth and you are going to be celebrating, okay? For some of you, it was a friend. Wow. All right, let's go to this deck. I'm filling this deck, okay? Hmm. Nope, I'm going to do this deck. All right. Okay. Yeah, we have the moon card. There were some secrets that was going on. Some secrets that was revealed to you in your private time, in the last time here. People, because you have that sharp intuition, will not be able to pull the wool over your eyes. It's going to leave them in a place of insecurity. Because that hidden information is being downloaded to you. Then you have the high priestess again. Okay? So that's confirmation of you becoming more spiritual. God speaking to you on a whole other level with this situation. We have the Ten of Cups. We do have marriage in your future. Some of you could be married. This could be your marriage coming back together. All right. This also could be reunions with people or people who try to reunite with you. So you will be using your intuition and your inner knowing to know if you should be letting this person back into your life. We got some people who are coming back home to you. We have peaceful cohabitation. Yes, yes. Domestic bliss. Okay. Anything else? Now, it doesn't mean that you won't have any arguments or anything like that because things happen in life. But I mean the turmoil, the thing that broke your heart, that separation, that betrayal, that upheaval is over. God is giving you strength and bravery and courage to speak what you need to speak. You are moving on. That's where that travel could be. You could be moving on, moving to a new location. This card symbolizes the peace after the storm and leaving things behind that no longer serves you. Moving the common waters and stability. I'm glad I listened to the Holy Spirit about this deck. Okay, this is the Intuitive and Visions, de uh, Visions deck. It is not, I repeat, not on my um shops so if you are interested and would like this deck to be added to the shop i will do so okay we do have the six of pentacles we have charity we have shared wealth we have investors investing into you because of your grit you're going to be grateful you're kind you're generous and so now god is sending people who are going to be of financial support this could be your partner this could be um, the business that you have with your person or your own personal business that is going to bring this in. This could also be someone investing into your relationship, okay? Um, because we do have the higher font. We have matched energy here. Um, it's possible that this could be a twin flame relationship. Um, we do have the higher font, which is the counterpart to the high priestess, okay? This is someone who... Um, is traditional, someone who believes in marriage, a teacher, someone who is spiritual and that can lead people to where they need to be. They educate people, okay? They have high ethics and morals. We have the three of wands, and what does that say at the very top? Dreams do come true. Yes! Hmm. They do come true, okay? This is foresight, so you may have saw this person coming in. And things are going to start to expand and build momentum. Wow. Wow. We have the four of swords. Some of you may have 
spent some time in solitude to get yourself together or this person or both of you. You know, you could be a hopeless romantic. This person could be a hopeless romantic. This is someone who's very charming. All right. In this situation, you might be following your heart, but don't forget your head. Don't forget the intuition. Because I do see on the bottom of the deck that this is a possibility for a two of cups situation. All right. Wow. Wow. So happy about that. All right. We're going to move on. If you like this part of the message, let me know by liking this video. Commenting in the comment section. If you're not a subscriber, do me a favor. And please do become a subscriber as it does help me out a great deal. And I appreciate you so very much for doing so. All right. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to take the red cards. We're going to close this message out. I'm not, I don't want to prolong messages this year. They don't need to be prolonged. I know you're busy. Capricorn energy. Here we have. This Holy Spirit is saying you're going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. All right. Everything is already okay. Hmm. Somebody is coming in wanting to make you feel their love. For some of you, it might be an ex, or for some of you, there may be an ex that tries to come in between the new love that's coming in to you. Hmm. We do have that you are chosen, and a person that's coming in is going to be chosen, or that ex could be chosen and coming back. But again, use your intuition. You're going to know who it is. You have someone in your energy that either you can't unlove. Or someone that can't unlove you. Okay. Because you are chosen. There's a different energy about you. For some of you. You're going to be telling that ex. What I'm going through is none of your concern. Who I'm with is none of your concern. Meanwhile the person for you is going to be like. Come close. Come close baby. You're going to be okay. Hmm. We have your angels watching over you, okay? And they're watching over this situation with you. Anything else? Mm, yeah. For some of you, your ex is feeling foolish for letting you go. Hmm. You never miss the water until the well runs dry, right? For some of you, your ex may be coming in saying, I owe you, I'm going to repay you. Shouldn't have treated you like I treated you. Some of them may get triggered because you're moving on. For someone, this isn't everyone. There was someone that you were dealing with that did not want to admit their feelings for you. They were in love with you, but trying to say that they were not. So now they're triggered. That's karma. All right. This person was also toxic. But guess what? They so sick that you're gone. Hmm. I feel some of you saying, what's what's love? What's love? What's love got to do with it? That's not that song, but what's love? Okay? Any song that come up in the reading, if it hits you, please do listen to those songs. Listen to the words of that song. There's a message in there for you. All right? Anything else? Holy Spirit. Hmm. Some of you with this person, with this ex, you're like, let it go. Because right now I'm expecting a great. Even though this person could be without a man or without a woman. Now you have thick skin. You have grown. Wow. All this stuff is coming out of this deck. Wow. Mm. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. So we have an Aquarius that you could be dealing with. Somebody is reminiscing about when I was your man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how that song goes. I'm, it's not coming in my mind right now. Um, but 
somebody is thinking about that somebody may be a female say you always be my baby and you're like no <laughs> we have angels cry for some of you this was a spiritual union and the angels did physically cry when you and this person broke up all right for, like i said for some of you this is the ex that's coming back for some of you this is the ex that it no longer has access to you all right the holy spirit will speak to your heart about this it's going to be just like fire all right it's going to be a strong burning fire okay for some of you that strong burning fire is going to be for the other person that's going to take them through because of what they took you through and you ain't got that far to go for some of you you may have been dealing with somebody who has spent some time away Next, somebody might be sending you love songs where they may be hearing love songs and reminding you of them or vice versa. There is a soul tie with some of you with these people and the X, that X factor. So that might, that needs to be broken before you move forward. We have an Aries here, but know that you are victorious in the end with this. All right, so that was a love reading that I have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.